guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to into episode one of West Virginia Love Songs. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Excuse me. when you saw her. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out. And so that has to be her older sister. Damn, girl, you fall in love with your best friend's sister. Oh, that that is something. Okay. You got this. So the blonde, yeah. Well, you know, they say, don't always assume that the one who's singing is the one who's related. Definitely was into that love spell. <laughs> oh, 
she's good. She's good. Just one little problem. I like the singer. But you did good today. <laughs> it's always the limited edition items for like guys. Gotta have it, yeah. We know you're gonna say yes. <laughs> no, it's really good. The height. The tall girl and the short girl. That's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Goodbye. Yeah, and you just kind of fell in love right then and there. <laughs> right? Like... <laughs> I mean, it, I don't know if it's love at first sight for you, but for her, definitely. No. <laughs> <laughs> the 
it's so freaking cute, babe. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, and you possibly hang out with her, and, you know, deep in that bond, potentially become girlfriends, and yeah. Yeah, most of the cold girls should be that shit, you know. Be like freaking, um, cow do. I'm wondering, be like, yes. Ah, uh, my honeys. <laughs> Damn, I mean, she got everything very quickly. Oh. Well, you better find out a way to have her join. <laughs> Well, when it comes to her future girlfriend, like, psh, gotta be invested. Right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> right. <laughs> Stop, that's so cute. <laughs> the fact that she's saying hi to She's such a cute little fangirl. Yeah. But the thing is, you instantly fell for her. Not as like, oh, I'm in love with bands, but you fell in love with her, like, instantly. Like, I could see a potential relationship with her. But you could, you know, potentially have that happen, though. Yeah, I mean, you're already cool. <laughs> Bye, that's so cute. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to be with you. No, it's okay.
Okay, initially, this is really, 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 really cute. I like, we're going into this season with not one, but two Yuri-type series. And I really hope these two go really far. Um, now, my one little issue on this, like, <laughs> with how it went for the first couple of minutes and such, and, you know, her assuming that, yeah, like, he made some love with her and ish, I was like, oh, we're going a little fast with this like dang by the end of episode one these two are gonna be dating I, I, so I was like ain't this a little too fast you know thinking about that in my mind but oh, okay I get that but no it's right now it's a one-sided love and it's going to take her a little time to slowly but surely fall in love with her now it kind of gives me feels to Suzaki Damiano in a way um very similar on how it was kind of almost one-sided at first for both of the boys. Um, and they really, the love of Yaoi kind, and kind of just made them fall in love with each other and it's like that and such, which was cute. But this is going to be a little bit different on that. I don't think we're going to get something 100% similar to Suzaki and Amino, but in this first episode and how it went, I can see where I'm like, yeah, like this is like giving feels to that. The two leads, they give me feels towards, um, oh my god, what is that? What was that one show that I watched, like, years ago that recently just finished? Um, it was the, okay, so one of the girls had long, darkish hair, just like, um, the tall girl, and the other one, she had, like, a pinkish, reddish hair and such, and of course, they were both in love with the same guy, and in the end... Uh, the dark-haired girl who was voiced by Sadie ha Sadi Hayamian, she was the endgame girl. And, like, the final episode literally has a picture of them together and such. I, I know I, at first, like, I did not like the, the main guy and such. It, it took me a little while to warm up to him, but I did like him for certain reasons. I just did not, I was like, because I know a lot of people wanted me to react to the final season or the show overall, but I had already watched the show on my own, and I was like, I'm not rewatching this, and I'm not reacting to it. I was like, this is one of those that I was like, I want to keep uh, for myself and such. That's like bu Black Butler. That is to myself. I am not reacting to that. Like, probably while I'm editing this and the other two shows that I just finished, I will literally be watching the next season of Black Butler while I'm waiting for it. But no, they are really cute together. I love their dynamic. I love the height dynamic. Duh, because obviously I am a sucker for that. I think any any show or just anything in general where it is a tall girl and a short guy, I, I love that because as a tall woman myself, like, would love to have that myself and such, but at last, once again, love is not looking my way, even though, like, <laughs> here, okay, uh, I'll, I'll tell this story. I told this to one of my guy friends. Um, so Tuesday at work, I, I was, I think it was like maybe two or three hours into my shift. And normally, you know, people come in for like, Dropping off packages, dropping off Amazon, sending things out, possibly doing some fingerprints, maybe wanting to get a notary and such. And so this guy came in, relatively tall guy, um, a little bit taller than me. I'm like 5'9", almost 6 foot. This dude looked almost about 6'2", six 6'3". Six um, and normally when you come in and you first see me, I'm like, you know, hi, you know, welcome in. How can I help you? And with a cute little smile on my face because... <laughs> And cute little smile, duh. And he was like, um, oh, your smile is so pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he was like, I really like your teeth. And I was like, thank you. You know, not thinking that was like, was like a little thinking that was a little creepy. I was like, I don't know. I don't know people really have fascinations with teeth. But, you know, if you're a dentist, then yeah. Um, 
And so we were talking, short, long story short, he was coming just to do an Amazon return. But we were talking for a couple of minutes and such. And um, he was like, <laughs> are you single? And normally, like, when any guy asks me, like, questions like that because of, once again, as I said, in, the, in this week's um, The Dangers in My Heart, I was like, okay, like, look at me. Yes, I am very Kirby-esque. And so I kind of got bullied in middle school for that, like a lot by guys and such. So I figure, I feel like any guy who is trying to flirt with me, I literally will get defensive and such. And sometimes I will nervously laugh and such. And I nervously laughed and like, long story short, I kind of turned him down. He was sweet to shoot his dot, but I was not interested and, and such because I was like, I want to just be on my fucking own, independent bad bitch, let me get my money. That's all That's all I'm here to do when I'm at work. Work my hours, get my money, go home. Bad bitch, right there. Yes. Um, but I told him, I was like, thank you, you know, for, you know, like, accepting it and such, because there are not many guys out here who will take no for an answer or just letting them down gently as an answer. And so I always have to be cautious on how I treat a guy. I try not to... I can't help when I nervously laugh. It just happens. Because I get freaked out a little bit. But it just happens. So don't blame me. Please. But no, he was really sweet. I was just like, yeah, I was like, thank you. But no, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Have a good day. Here's your receipt. And I'm just like, yeah. But no, it was still a good day, though, at work. Good day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think also something else happened that day. I just don't remember what. Um, well, no, I got something. Yeah. My stuff came home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, no. The relationship is really cute. I, I'm really excited to see this relationship blossom even more up until they have their first kiss and everything. Or they say, um, excuse me, their first I love yous and stuff. And maybe we might get a moment where, like, they say I love you without saying I love you. I mean, Haruka Michiru did that a lot of times, and I am always here for that as someone who supports same sex and stuff. Even though, like I said, I, I'm, I'm heterosexual and such, I love seeing healthy same sex relationships, and it, it's just my cup of tea. It, it's so freaking sweet and generous, whether you see it in anime books, novels, movies-ish. I love that we're getting, the times are like once again officially changing and how it is our normal. And I, and I love it. I'm just so like, I'm always happy for people to be in love once again, even though it doesn't work for me, but I still love it. Love, love. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Whisper Me a Love Song. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday. I really thought this was coming out on Sundays. But we are here on Saturdays <laughs> for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.